what I love about my Nintendo Switch? I get to play games three console generations ago that I can play, but portably. I didn't know you can do that, actually. I was just f***ing gagging that. <laughs> Resident Evil HD Remake has been one of the newer titles that I've been playing, and while I know it's been on the eShop for a while, I still want to go back to it and, you know, give it some refresh. Thank you so much to Capcom for sending me a copy of Resident Evil HD Remake. That way I could check it out and let you guys know. TLDR, if you love the original Resident Evil Remake, you'll love this one. It's, it's not going to shiver your timbers or rustle your jimmies, but I think if you just want a solid experience of the original, it'll do it pretty respectably. And the reason it's one of my personal favorites is because of course you can play it portably, play it everywhere that you go, and it does so in a really nice fashion both undocked and docked. Let's start with the gameplay. If you've played the original Resident Evil remake, you know exactly what to do. It expands upon the original Resident Evil, entirely remaking the mansion as well as puzzle layouts, new enemies, and new places to visit. It's Pretty much the same original experience, but revamped, and it's still considered one of the greatest remakes of all time. And I still hold it highly on there. This version is based on the newer HD ports that Capcom created around 2012-13 uh, when they first released on the PS3, but now uh, Capcom has released this on the Switch, and it does run at a lower resolution than you would expect at 1080p, but it still looks pretty nice both on docked mode. I haven't really noticed any frame pacing issues or any kind of stuttering like that. If you've played the original, it's going to feel exactly how it is. All the features that you expect are here. You have the original 4x3, which is my preferred way to play, and has the original experience, or 16x9 aspect ratios that has the original 4x3, but filling the screen and cropping the top on the bottom and having a scrolling effect to look at the full 4x3. Personally, it's a little bit disorienting, but I think for other people who want a 16x9, that's, that's fine. You also have the classic layouts that allows you to hold a run button, or you can have the modern one, which already does that for you. I think both either or is fine, and it's kind of nice not to press the run button and just kind of go forward and deal with that. You're not walking in this game at all, so what's the point? And if you really want to get scared, I think a like and a subscribe will terrify you, because subliminal messages terrify me too. <laughs> a lot of people have complained about the loading times on the Switch, and it's not good. It doesn't matter if you have this game run on the SD. Oh yeah, that's the only way to play this game there will still be loading issues, and most prominently when you're going from room to room and you have the door animation. A lot of people don't like this at all, actually, but you're gonna be having five to six seconds from when you start up to the door until it finishes, and this is significantly more than the other versions. For people who are speedrunning and just wanna get through the game, this is gonna be a huge significant problem just because you're going to be going from room to room and you're gonna be having to go through that animation almost every time. Doesn't matter if you're doing it on docked or on dock mode, it's pretty much the same. No amount of overclocking or anything like that will fix that, unfortunately. And I think it's a very valid criticism because it is a negative, and I do wish Capcom optimized that a little bit more on the Switch. It would have been really nice, but this is what we got, and it is what it is on that. Portable mode, I'm just surprised how good that it plays. It's, of course, uh, a lower resolution than on docked mode. You do have a steady 30 FPS. I haven't noticed still any frame dips or any issues like that. It plays very nice and respectively. I'm just more surprised at the fact that it just plays really nice, and while well, Capcom didn't add anything new to make this uh, version, you know, stand out from the rest, the normal gimmick of portable mode I still think is really cool. That's my preferred way, but I know for some people like the PS4 version, which just runs so much smoother and you don't have those loading issues, I think a lot of people would prefer that. Whatever way you play, I don't think is a wrong way, but I think it's something to know if you're playing it on the Switch. I think last thing to note, if you want to play this physically, you can't. Capcom released this game physically in the States, but unfortunately the cartridge has Resident Evil 0 and not Resident Evil 1, which is a digital download. So if you're going to be getting this make sure to wait for a special on the eShop and just buy it digitally because that's unfortunately the only way you can do it unless there are play asia versions or anything like that i don't think there are any physicals let me know down in the comments if you know if there is those are my thoughts on resident evil hd it does not do anything to shake the gaming industry <laughs> but i think it's still fine and if you just want to play the original experience you won't have a problem with that loading issues from five to six seconds will be a problem for some maybe even a lower resolution as well but if you just want the original experience on the go and on the switch i like this version because of that it's not 
Well, it is my personal favorite because of that reason alone, but I still love playing uh, the PS4 as well as the PC just because you get higher resolutions and higher frame rates. So what do you guys think? Is this your favorite version of Resident Evil HD or is there another one that I have no idea? Let me know in the comments below and of course, let's have a nice discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a big thanks to Capcom for sending me a code for the Switch. And honestly, to you guys for letting me surpass uh, 10,000 subscribers, which is a huge deal for me and a YouTube channel that I just want to do on a basis of love and just kind of practicing my editing. It's I, It does mean a lot to me. So thank you. If you want to support the channel, all the links are here. If you want to see other stuff that I do, it's right here or right here. I always get it confused, but there you go. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Matane.